Good morning from the Cotswolds. This is one of the prettiest parts of England and I'm in a modern take on a centuries old house. This is the very cool bar that I'll show you. It's morning, obviously, so no one's in it, so I'm filming. And cool reception area. And here is the breakfast platter with lots of local ingredients. Marmite for Britain, fresh juice and hot food available. Some very wonky old stairs. And here's the outside of the Old Stocks Inn. This is very characteristic stone for the Cotswolds. Also, like England, it's characteristically raining. Hey, uh, this is Stowe with an E, and it's uh, fancy gardens and grounds in the Cotswolds. You can see a bit behind me. There's gale force warnings on at the moment. Yeah, so it got cut off. Gale force warnings, so I'm going to be quick. So we're in Stowe and you can see here Lord Cobham's house and the rest of the grounds we're going to be walking around today. I found a spot of shelter in the grounds and the overcast sky does give all the greenery a glow in the dark, surreal colour, all natural. Yeah, just about survived all the wind, as you can see, a bit blustery and blown about. But it was a pretty amazing place. Uh, great gardens to see, lots of history and, uh, well, bracing. So it's day two in the Cotswold and the sun has come out. Still a bit windy, as you can see, but I'm off for a walk and an explore. Just had a wonderful stay at this place, the Old Stocks Inn, which is a 17th century coaching inn, all renovated in hipster, cool and blue. Stowe on the Wold is typical for the Cotswolds uh, and I learnt that the Wold is a raised place or forest. So there we go, that's a new fact for the day. And here's the Cotswold answer to Scotland Yard, the uh, police station. All the rain has left a very squelchy pathway, but it's worth it to get some fresh air and these very typical views of rolling hills and sheep of England. Okay, we're in the rain now, which is less than ideal, but look at that place, fresh from a murder mystery in the distance. A sign of the times, the red phone box no longer for phones, because so many of us have mobile ones, but it's now a defibrillator. Great for saving lives. Home again, home again, and I have swapped the hiking boots for slippers. Hope you had a good weekend, everybody.